and it happens to all of us. I'm human and it happens and stress and anxiety are things that I've always struggled with and I've always turned to food. And I Hi guys, welcome to another video. Long time no see. Actually, it hasn't been that long, but it has been a few days that I haven't made a video. And I wanted to jump on here and talk about that real quick because I did make a commitment to make a video every single day or as close to it as I could for 100 days sharing with you my journey to get healthy and fit on a plant-based diet. And last week I struggled a little bit and I wanted to talk about that. So the past few days I have been off track and I'll be completely honest with you, it has been a struggle. And I wanted to explain to you what happened. So I made a commitment to um, make some cakes for a friend of mine for her father's birthday. It's a hobby that I have. I talked about it in a previous video and um, I showed you a cake that I had made, um, that I made last weekend. That was a little bit of a more simple cake, um, not that big of a deal. This one was one of my more artistic cakes and it was for somebody that I hadn't made a cake for before. So I, it made me a little bit nervous and a little bit anxious and I was stressing about it a little bit when I get it done on time. So what happened was on Thursday, I was gonna show you guys sort of the beginning process of making the cakes. I didn't end up going to the gym in the morning because I was worried that I wouldn't finish them on time. They had to be done by Friday afternoon. I spent all day working them on them on Thursday and then I ran out of time for a video. On Friday though, because I had spent all that time on Thursday, I planned to go to the gym and I went to the gym, but I was just stressed. And because of that, I fell back into my old habits of eating to soothe my stress. And what happens when you have cake pieces because you're carving things out of cake around and frosting and all sorts of um, delicious vegan, but delicious things that are not on the plan for what you are doing, is that I ended up eating a lot of them out of stress, the bits and pieces that didn't end up part of the cake. So I had a really not good eating day on Thursday. I did go to the gym, but I didn't have a great day on Friday. And then it spilled over, even though the anxiety and the stress was gone, I still carried it over to yesterday. Yesterday I did have some healthier things and I did have some foods that are more on my plan, but it, it was still not a good day eating wise. So I'm not waiting till Monday. I am getting back on track. I have felt sort of like Bleh, and like puffy and like I see it in my face and I feel sort of like hungover almost. My eyes feel really heavy. I feel the effects of the sugar and the cake and the it's just everything that is not on my plan and the overeating. It's, it's almost, I'll be honest, it's binge eating. I was binge eating for like two days and I feel it and I feel terrible. So what am I doing? I am not waiting until Monday because that would just be another whole day of feeling crappy and not getting back on track. But I'm, wait I'm starting today. So I made my oatmeal. I'm having my favorite peanut butter and jelly oatmeal. I put some flax seed in there, some hemp seed, some protein powder, some coconut, and of course the mixed berries, um, and of course some cinnamon and some vanilla. And I'm gonna start my day with a healthy breakfast. It's about almost 11 by the time I finish this video and eat my breakfast, it'll probably be about 11. So I'm also getting back on track with my um, intermittent fasting. That had also gone out the window for a couple of days, which is terrible. I'm, I was started this channel and I'm doing this to um, help keep me on track and that all went out the window. So I'm getting back on track today and I already planned in my fitness pal everything that I'm going to eat for today and tomorrow and I'm excited to get back on track and to feel better. I don't know if I'll get into any exercise today. I might just take a long walk. It's been really hot outside. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But I think if I get the food back on track and get back to going to the gym tomorrow and have a really good week, I will feel so much better. I know I will feel so much better. Not I think, I know. So that is my plan. 
I also don't know that I will do a weigh-in video tomorrow because um, of all the off-track eating and binge eating that I've been doing for the past couple of days. I don't want to put that added stress on myself of having to get on camera and say, I gained this much weight. I know I've probably gained some pounds, probably not as bad as I think because I do look at myself in the mirror and I can see it's really just a lot of puffiness and probably water retention and things that will fall off by the end of next week. So I'm going to get back on track. Plus, I don't know if you remember, but I had mentioned that I might extend my 100 days to an extra two weeks. Um, it was something that in the middle of like around day 50 or so I had um, planned to do just because um, by the gym that I go to is doing after photos of a challenge that um, people are participating in at the gym and I'm not participating in the challenge but I talked to the gym owner and he said that he would let me do an after photo so that's two weeks after the end of my 100 days so I'm just probably going to extend it that long anyways make up for these three days and all will be good back on track happy again because I have been feeling just sort of ugh, miserable physically and emotionally and it happens to all of us I'm human and it happens and stress and anxiety are things that I've always struggled with and I've always turned to food and I know that I need to find another outlet and I think I might start meditating maybe daily although I did say that two days ago <laughs> that I realized that I, I do need to do something and maybe meditating would be it and I haven't done it yet but I think I might start meditating um, on a daily basis and um, try and relax a little bit because that's hard for me and I think that that would really help so if you have any suggestions <laughs> I'd be happy um, I'd be really um, grateful if you would leave them in the comments below of how you relax and how you deal with stress and um, anxiety and what you do if you have ever turned to food what you do instead of turning to food I find it really easy to stay on plan when there's nothing sort of weighing on me but once that something comes over me then I turn to food and I really just need to stick to the plan right so and that is the plan to get back on plan today eat healthy and um, stick it out for the rest of the 100 days because when this when this commitment that I made is over life is I'm not I can't go back to how I was so um, this is a lifestyle change that I have to make anyways so what I would do is actually show you what I've been working on and what I was doing because I did film throughout you know the last few days things to show you like the progress of the cakes I was making because I was really proud of how they came out and um, show you some of that and then tomorrow get right back on track and maybe this week just do sort of what I eat videos maybe what I'm having for lunch or dinner or recipes and that sort of thing to get back into the healthy eating so I'm excited to be back and excited to get back on track so thank you so much for your support in that as well and let me show you what I plan for today my macros in my fitness pal so here are the protein fat and carbs again and my goal and what I actually will be eating today my micronutrients that the my fitness pal pulls from the food that I ate today and the pie chart showing the breakdown of protein fat and carbs into percentages so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.